What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Vultures Review. I know, I know, it's been a minute, but if you know me, you know that Kanye is my favorite artist and that I really want to take my time with this one, okay? It's going to be a little bit of a longer one, so I apologize in advance. Also, if you think that I'm going to come on here and hate on this record, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. I try to remain unbiased, even though he is my favorite artist, and especially with the with the controversy and everything that's been going on that I don't agree with, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's obviously, <laughs> obviously got some anti-Semitic tendencies and beliefs, and I don't align myself with that, and you know what I'm saying? I really didn't have any expectations with this because I didn't know what Ty was going to bring to the table necessarily, and with the whole drama circling him, I didn't know if it was going to be, like, good Kanye, you know what I'm saying, because I liked Donda, but I kind of thought it was, I thought it was good at the time, obviously, because I love Kanye, but I'm also able to admit that when something doesn't age that well, and I feel like, if anything, it's aged to be a little bit underwhelming, I'd give it, like, a 7 out of 10 now, but we're here with Vultures, and it's better than I expected. It's better than I expected. I'm glad he changed the cover because obviously the first one was a Burzum ripoff. And I already got into why he's into Burzum in another video. But that shit is just, it's just crazy. I'm, I'm glad he changed the cover. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> the listening party was iconic. But the listening party is always iconic. Obviously, like, you wait. Like, every listening party uh, from Kanye West is a moment. Like, and it's a, it's a... It's a moment that people associate with the record, and I feel like um, the aesthetic of the listening party also usually follows the aesthetic of the album, but great features on this record, great production, you got Cardi, you got Freddie Gibbs, and you got JPEG Mafia. Those are just my standouts, obviously. I think that um, seeing Freddie Gibbs on a Kanye record was crazy, and seeing Peggy on a Kanye record was even crazier. I think Stars is a fantastic intro. Also, Peggy Production, immediately. Literally on the very first track, you get Peggy Production on Keys to My Life. I really love Ye's intro. The transition is a little clunky. I know they definitely did that on purpose, and like Kanye alludes to it, I'm pretty sure. He says, I could have used that last part for the intro. I think you should have, bro, if I'm, being, if I'm keeping it a thousand, because that transition is a little clunky, but the outro is super great. Ty Dolla Sign is so great. I, like, I wasn't expecting to like Ty Dolla Sign as much as I did on this record. But Paid is the first banger we get. And again, this is where Ty really, like, shines. It's so crazy. Like, Kanye definitely brings out the best in everybody he works with. But Ty, Ty is just just going brazy on this entire record. Um, Ye's Roxanne interpolation is hilarious and very, very Kanye. Ye is so unhinged on this record so unhinged like probably the wildest he's been since the pablo era in my opinion and <sighs> y'all can talk shit if you want i'm making i'm making a worst to best video soon but personally pablo is my favorite uh favorite yay album that's my favorite yay um yay era too so seeing that this is him like the most unhinged since that era is crazy and you know we get talking next, which I've already I've already made a whole entire video about. It. It's a very cute moment, obviously. Made a video about it. Go check it out. Then whoo -hoo, we get back to me. Back to me is a top three track on the record for me. If I'm keeping it a thousand. Top three record. I think it'll grow to be iconic. It's already iconic. If you look on TikTok, it's literally just people being like every every five seconds, bro. Every five fucking seconds is like beautiful big titty, but naked women just to fall out the sky, you know. Ugh. Bro, that shit is so amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 10 out of 10. That's probably... That's another top three track on here. I love that song so much. Hood Rat. Low-key, just okay. I do like the Hood Rat, Hood Rat, Hood Rat, Hood Rat. I do... I feel like it does get a little monotonous after a while, though. Great hook and chorus, though. And, again, Ye is unhinged as hell. He's He's off his fucking rocker on this record dog like it's crazy do it is up next and it reminds me of classic yay it's such a vibe and then we get paperwork an unexpected banger and quavo goes insane i love it you may <laughs> you may mommy lay for work <laughs> okay like low-key this album sounds like what kanye sounds like to people who don't like kanye i swear to god he's so fucking unhinged on this record it's insane he's so 
Uh, whatever. Burn. Burn is up next. Again, another great tie appearance. Not appearance, because it's his album, too. You know what I'm saying? But, like, his his appearance on this is insane. I love his verse. Kind of getting some Frank Ocean vibes on this one. And Ye is, again, rapping, like, classic Ye. It's giving, like... Not college dropout era, but it's giving it's giving like that old classic. Yay! I love it so much. I love it so much. Fuck some. I'm just trying to fuck some right now. Banger with Peggy Production. Cardi's first appearance on the record too. By the way, also, also, Kanye being like, suck on me, publicly because um, France. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy. I you know what I'm saying? I think uh. Fantano dumbass, damn. Fantano dumbass was the one who was like, "Oh well, if you don't like Ye talking about his talking about his life, you probably won't like Ye." And that's true. That's true. But why would you be listening to Kanye if you don't want to hear about his life? Also, because of JPEG Mafia, we have hyper pop on a Kanye record in 2024. I'm. I'm lit off this. I'm lit off this. And you know what? I still love Vultures. The song. I still love Vultures. All. <laughs> I've said this like a million times, bro, but unhinged yay lyrics, unhinged yay lyrics, and also Dirk snapped, and then, don't even get me started on Carnival, <laughs> don't even get me started on Carnival, Fantano is retarded, I literally, bro, don't even, <sighs> should I make a video on the leaks, low key, not even, because they make him look good, bro, <laughs> like, niggas really leaked him getting cheeks like whatever whatever carnival is crazy carnival is crazy i love cardi's verse i'm glad that it's getting so much love on tiktok and all that shit having chris brown on beg forgiveness i hilarious hilarious and problematic is is very yay um that that uh that 15 year line is crazy i i my partner is five years younger than me, and the difference is insane. Like, we don't even, like, <laughs> they be calling me old, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we, like, they've never been a warp Tour. Like, like, the disconnect is crazy. So, 15 years, I can't even fucking imagine what they talk about. But, regardless, regardless... The album ends with King flexing being an anti-Semite and still being the King is crazy. Um, God damn. I'm not going to talk about any of the controversy or the politics in this video. I really want to stick to the music on this. And I loved the music on this record. It felt like I was listening to Kanye again. Donda felt like a different version of Ye, a version of Ye that was not all there, you know what I'm saying, because of, because of obvious reasons, right, and this, like he said in that Instagram video, you know what I'm saying, he was like, I'm happy, and that's why you got the album, and that's why the album is good, so don't be asking no questions, and don't be talking no shit, just be thankful that I'm happy, and you know what, Good for you, bro. And post your fucking wife on Instagram as much as you fucking want. 8 out of 10 for Vultures, in my personal fucking opinion. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you check out the video that I drop ranking my Kanye albums. I wanted to wait until this came out so that I could, like, include it in there. But it's going to be in there. It's going to be in there. So, I nailed this video off a glob of wax, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Vultures. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Got a lot of cool shit dropping soon. Also, thank you guys so much for the love of my music recently. It means a lot. I love you guys. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.